First at 10, Clear Creek Township Police released cruiser cam video that shows the moment a man shot Officer Eric Ney. Ney is recovering in the hospital tonight. Another officer shot that suspect, but authorities say he also had a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Two News reporter Caroline Morse reviewed the video. She has new information, and we warn you some of the footage might be difficult to watch. First, encouraging news for Officer Eric Ney. Now, Police Chief John Durrell says that Ney was up and walking today and even brushing his teeth. And he says that is great news for the entire community. Now, moving towards that dash camera footage, you're going to see Sergeant Cordeo ask the suspect to turn off his ATV and get out. And before long, you can hear her demand him to put down a firearm. Now, soon you're going to hear shots fired and you're going to see Officer Ney fall to the ground and Sergeant Cordeo respond with multiple gunfire. Now, before we air some of this, Footage, we'd like to warn you that the following materials may be disturbing to some viewers. You better put that gun away right now. Eric, are you okay? Police say a known violent suspect opened fire on an officer Tuesday night. Clear Creek Township Officer Eric Ney was shot in his head. Sergeant Nicole Cordeo responded, firing several shots. Officer Ney is still recovering in Miami Valley Hospital. Uh, his Wounds are severe. He's got a road ahead of him. Um, like I said, uh, this uh, a little while ago, guy noticed that he is up and walking. The suspect, 65 year old Mark Evers, died on scene. He suffered multiple gunshot wounds, one that was self inflicted to his head and another in his torso. The coroner's office is still determining his cause of death. However, the sequencing of which of those shots came first may dictate how the coroner ultimately decides whether this is a suicide. A homicide, or if they're not able to determine the sequencing, an undetermined manner of death. According to police, the dash camera footage shows Sergeant Cordeo asking the suspect to turn off his ATV and to get out. She then orders him to put down a firearm. Now, before long, shots are fired and Officer Ney falls to the ground. Sergeant Cordeo then fired several times, shooting Evers. Officials say the footage clearly shows the suspect fired shots first, and Sergeant Cordeo acted in response. I would also state that just because something is listed as a homicide does not in any way mean that the officer was at fault or faces any type of criminal liability. That simply means that the death was at the hand of someone other than Mr. Evers himself. So a homicide manner of death finding does not in any way mean that the officer acted in any way unlawfully. Now, the BCI is currently still investigating, and Sergeant Cordeo is on administrative leave. In Clear Creek Township, I'm Caroline Morse. Two news working for you.